Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing some more summer decorating. We've just moved into our kitchen area and we're starting with my favorite place to decorate and that is my coffee bar. So I, I don't like go crazy with summer decorating. I just kind of lighten and brighten things up a little bit. And yeah, you know, it's probably my least favorite season to decorate for just because I don't really, I don't know, I don't know. You know, it's not as, this, as fun to me to decorate for summer as it is like fall and Christmas and even winter making it super cozy, but I do still wanna brighten it up a little bit. I also did do a little DIY on the actual um, coffee bar cart that I have everything on. So it is a relatively new coffee bar cart, I'd say within the past couple months. We did buy it brand new. Um, there was just one part of it. I love everything about it. The size, the shape, the two drawers, the cabinet, their storage. Um, I had a custom piece of glass cut for it. It was just something about the like chicken wire kind of caging on the front of two of the two cabinet doors that I didn't love. So it kind of made it a little too farmhouse for me, like super rustic farmhouse. I have a little bit of like a rustic modern farmhouse cottage style, but not a super rustic farmhouse style. So I wanted to modernize the cart just a little bit by adding some cane detailing, cane webbing to the front cabinet doors. I wanted to switch out the hardware for like a champagne gold hardware like I have on the rest of the cabinets in the kitchen. So it all just kind of blends. I added some hooks to the side. I think it turned out beautiful. So I, I'll insert here a couple of pictures of some inspiration that I had and I think it really turned out so nice. And the whole project probably cost me 35 to 40 dollars to I feel like pretty much transform the look of this cabinet and kind of bring it into a totally different style I love that the finish of the cabinet is super rustic but then the cane webbing just kind of brought it and and the gold hardware brought it to like a more modern element so I'm really happy with how that turned out so I'm going to insert how I did that and then we are going to just add some simple decorations and just kind of brighten it up a little bit for some. Okay, so here is the current cabinet situation. I love this cabinet size-wise, it works out perfect. I love the rustic black finish of it. I do, I love the two drawers and the cabinets down here. The one thing that I don't like though is this like kind of cage chicken wirey kind of look. It's just a tad bit too farmhouse for me. So I am hoping, as you saw in my inspiration picture, to be able to take this out and I'm pretty sure I just can unscrew these and this should come out. I don't know, I think that's what's gonna happen, but we will see. So I wanna take that out and replace it with the roll of cane, which I will show you here in a minute. It's little crumbs in there, I gotta clean that all out. Um, and then I want to replace these knobs with some brushed like champagne gold knobs, those and these up here. So just to kind of give it a much more like rustic, modern kind of feel. So we will, <laughs> and there's a kitty. So we will just see how this goes. But like I said, I just want it to be still that rustic feel, but have a little modern twist to it. So I think that the caning will be really nice. Okay, so this is the cane webbing that I ordered from Amazon. It is just 18 inch width cane webbing used for furniture, chairs, cabinets, and ceilings. So I ordered this. So from what I understand from watching different videos is you want to soak this for 30 minutes to make it more pliable and easier to use. Apparently, it's quite dry and brittle and a little bit harder to work with. So we're going to get this um, unpackaged and put it in some water to soak, and then we will start removing the cabinet doors.
that was super easy to come out and I think what's perfect is that I can now use this as the guide so I know exactly what size to cut my cane webbing.
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you got a little bit of decorating inspiration for summer, just a way to lighten and brighten things up, yet still keeping it pretty simple. I do though, however, really like to decorate the shelves above the coffee bar. They are not on my countertop, so I'm not as worried about it feeling cluttered. I, so I use it as an area that I really can go all out and decorate and not have that cluttered feeling of it being on top of my countertops, if that makes any sense. But if you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. I would also love it if you followed me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. I like to share a little bit more of everyday life and maybe if I'm at the stores, some sales or some really fun things um, you know, that I saw out and about that might be, like I said, on sale or even some decorating reels and recipes as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a great day.